please welcome making his entrance to the ring from Maceo, Brazil, Rocky Jr. Brazilian will try his luck, hoping for a better fortune than that enjoyed by Jack Wilson. This is Rocky Jr., the unbeaten Rocky Jr., who's made the journey from uh, Macao and the Atlantic coast of Brazil, where I'm told it's 30 degrees in December. So we'll have noticed a bit of drop in temperature coming over here to Manchester in the middle of uh, Icy winter here in Britain, not quite 30 degrees plus. And now entering the ring, ladies and gentlemen, a boxer ranked currently number four by the World Boxing Council, Ryan Rose. But he will find it hot in the ring tonight, and that's because of this man, Ryan Rhodes, the former European champion, but only because injury prevented him from defending that title, so he is the former unbeaten European champion from Sheffield. But even though he's a white rose man, getting a good reception in uh, red rose country here in Manchester, Really good form, really bubbly before the fight at the weigh-in. Got his crew with him tonight. Resplendent in uh, white. Almost looked like they could be uh, taking part in the Ashes out in Australia. This is eight three-minute rounds of an international middleweight contest. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the white colour shorts trimmed with red. At the way he scaled 11 stone, 9 pounds. His perfect unblemished record consists of 11 contests, 11 wins. Six of those wins coming by way of knockout. Presenting from Maceo, Brazil, the Brazilian stallion, Rocky Jr. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the black spangled shorts trimmed with white. At the weigh-in, he scaled 11 stone, 10 pounds. His excellent record reads 48 contests, 44 wins. 30 of those wins coming by way of knockout with only four defeats. He was the youngest ever boxer to capture the light middleweight championship of Great Britain at the age of 21. He also this evening comes to the ring as the former undefeated light middleweight champion of Europe, presenting from Sheffield, Ryan Rose. Well, a really good ovation for Rose. And the even a polite bow from his opponent, charge of the Rocky Jr. Steve Gray from Fleetwood. Eight three minute rounds. I know that the niceties will last for long. Okay. But Ryan Rhodes, another who comes into the ring okay, tonight, belt looking line. in fantastic belt shape. Line. Go higher with this protector, okay? Don't let it get any higher than that. That's your belt it's line, certainly a class act, okay. Ryan Rhodes. When I call break, it's one step Seems back, okay? No forever. punches. No punches on the back of the head. It's Touch both due. hands. Touch him up. He deserves another world title fight. You know, he was European champion. Unfortunately, lost that tag outside the ring through politics, but it's good to see him back tonight. But he's got to be very Seconds weary. Seconds out, round one. I'm pretty sure, knowing Ryan, he'll be on his best. Well, Rhodes in the uh, black trunks with the sparkles. Now the big uh, number 26, you can see him blazing down the uh, side of his pants. And uh, Rocky Jr from Brazil in white and red. Rocky, incidentally, junior by name, but not necessarily by nature. He's going to turn 40 next year. You can see the golfing class already, Phil. Quality. 
Rose possesses. It seems changing to Orthodox. Got such good feet, Ryan. He is a, a southpaw by nature, of course, Rhodes, but showing that he can uh, box any which way. Shane, good offence there. Good footwork, Ryan. Warning for uh, Rocky Jr. about a, a low blow. Unintentional, I'm sure, but uh, the referee did just bring it to his and uh, everyone else's attention. It's funny, Phil, when you see names like Rocky Jr., I was, I was wondering if they're going to be like the Rocky, Rocky character, you know, tough, blazing, come out, firing. But I think Rhodes has dictated here, not letting Rocky Jr. even get into the contest. It's nice ramrod jab from Ryan Rhodes. Like all Brazilians, the uh, Rocky Jr. is a somewhat simplified version of his full name, which I can probably give you any of the ones, which is Jose Cleverton de Melo Jr. Certainly too much of a mouthful to uh, get out in a hurry, that. So Rocky Jr. will do just fine. I'm glad you said that. I've been practicing. Good man. <laughs> Again. Ryan Rose dictating the pace of the contest, cutting the ring down. Doing really as he pleases here. Rhodes. A lot of ways shuffles across the opponent now. Not letting him out the corner. There's a steely look of uh, determination in uh, Ryan Rhodes' eyes, which I guess is not necessarily a good sign if you're Rocky Junior. He's here to uh, do some business tonight. He's speaking to Rhodes a few weeks ago, desperate to get back in there and do what he does best. Well, having had so many title fights lately, I suppose the, the worry might have been that with this uh, not being a title fight, that he wouldn't quite be up for it, but no signs of that so far tonight. No, he's really very looks professional. like he's got his focus. He certainly has, Phil, and you know, like I said, I spoke to him, but he's very professional, Ryan. You know, he's knocking on that door for that world title, and he knows he cannot afford to slip up. Yes, that's in incentive enough. Of course, he's had uh, world title fights in the past which uh, haven't gone his way, which in many ways has perhaps just increased his hunger, I would think, to have another shot and prove that he is good enough to take that final step up to the very, very top. He's not going to be one of those fighters who, you know, finishes his career with a tag of the, you know, could have been or should have been world champion. Ten seconds, corners. Interestingly, I was at a boxing ball of control walls, Phil, and Ryan's, Ryan's fight with Second Jamie Moore, Round two. the outstanding contest, one fight of the year last week. It's such, it was such well received. Yeah, J Jamie Moore, as I mentioned earlier, was on the bill last time they had uh, professional boxing here at the Palace Hotel in Manchester, but that was considerably earlier in his career. Test, 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 test. Some uh, nine years ago. You know, when you watch Rhodes, Phil, you know, he makes this look so simple, this sport. You know, he come out, Rocky Jr's throwing his shots, he's slipping them, and... Such a gifted young man. Again, slip and sliding Rhodes. A couple of good punches already, and there's some uh, damaging blows going into the torso of Rocky Jr as well. Remember Matthew Hatton won his, uh, or defended his European title with some devastating body punching recently and I get the feeling that uh, perhaps Ryan Rhodes is looking for something similar here tonight. So he seems to be working away to the body of Rocky Jr. when he gets the chance. I notice there, Rocky Jr. is looking at his corner, gulping the air in, I think their body shots are taking effect on him. If you compare him with his compatriot, I don't want to do him a disservice, but he's not quite in such good shape as Jack Wilson was physically. I think that's more of a slip. Ryan pulled the left hook. No, no, no! 
five, I think he actually six, way in. seven, he's, eight. He's waiting to see him complain to the referee. Yeah, he clearly wasn't happy. And uh, certainly a few people ringside didn't agree with that, thought it was a slip. Again, Rose sinking that left into the body. Junior. Game Rose turning all for docks. Great work by Rose once more. And another fight with that ability to deliver his Riffy. punches and then get out of trouble. One, and the end two. is nigh, I think, here for Rocky Jr. He just can't stand the pace of these body shots. He, he, he wants that, Phil. He looks across his corner. He didn't want it when that body shot went in. Rosner. Too much. It's the end for Rocky Jr. It's anything but the end for Ryan Rhodes. He'll go on to much bigger things, you get the feeling, in 2011. And to be fair, he'll come up against better opposition. That's not to say that he uh, hasn't done a good job here tonight. Ryan Rhodes, but I think he just had too much. He certainly did. And that's that onslaught, and you see him sink that body shot in just there, Phil. That was it. But you know what? Ryan only done, done what he had to do. You know, the guys come over 11 and 0, so you got to respect that record. But Rhodes was heaps and bands class in front of him. Just good to see Ryan Rhodes back in the ring. Well, Ricky Hatton there, clearly impressed. We didn't see too much of Ryan Rose, but what we did see, he looked as though he was in tip-top shape. Like I said earlier, Ladies Phil, and never gentlemen, after two minutes Rose. and 28 seconds of round, but that's such a number two, solid performance referee Steve Gray has stopped the contest in his opinion. Rocky Jr. was in no position to continue. Yuna and now closing in fast on a world title shot from the steel city of Sheffield, Ryan Rose. Well, double R, Ryan Rose with a Rolls Royce performance. Still to come, the return of Paul Speak with the raffle and yes, who's won those various Phil. prizes they are magnificent prizes tonight ladies and gentlemen stay around see him posing for photographs with uh, the various belts there but the only belt he wants next year will be a world championship one and who knows that fight may not be too far away for the sheffield man